Bonjour everyone, I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Simple Park. Last time we've built the station for Carpenter Craig's Lock Flume, and if you haven't seen this episode yet, I highly recommend that you click the pop-up on the top right hand corner. Anyway, let's focus on this episode now. The goal of this episode was to create the town which Simple Park was built on, and so you see me do a lot of shops because, well, we need those. We only have two shops so far in the park, well, yes, two shops and one vending machine, technically. So we have Harry's Hot Dogs, of course, for the food unit, uh, we have Becky's Balloons for um, the more souvenir side of things, and we have uh, a water refiller next to Becky's Balloons. And so what I'm doing right now is adding another water refiller at the back of the park and also Sam's Hat Shack. Yes, Sam is the real name of Sussajet and I love this guy. He is a, an absolutely lovely guy and a really good creator as well. I highly recommend that you guys check his stuff on the workshop and yeah, he is a really good realistic builder and as I said in the last episode, I wanted this town to kind of be this... Uh, this um, hub for the community and to thank the people who have supported me as a creator and on the community from the start. So yeah, Sam, you have a hat shack and I don't even know why I called it Sam's Hat Shack. Maybe because of the yes, um, I don't know. Point is, uh, this is a hat shack that will only sell a cowboy's hat because of course we're in a somewhat western theme there um, with an old western town in the Rocky Mountains so I had to um, play on that like it was an actual hat shop you know from when the town was still active I mean and also from a gameplay perspective it is really interesting to have a shop a hat shop that only sells cowboys hats because Cowboy hats, actually. No, why do I put the S on co cowboys? Anyway, point is, uh, cowboy hats, because um, having those on guests all around the park will increase the, the theming without having actual theming. You get me? I don't know if you get me, but this is the idea. And look at that, I'm doing the layout for the fourth attraction of the park, which is Luna Autos. Yes, I wanted to have this attraction at the back of the park to attract guests really to the furthest points of the park, you know, because I have a lot of dead ends with my parks, uh, my, my paths, sorry, and I have of course the lock flume that exits at the, at the end of the park, but I really needed a, a queue line and something at the end of this park to have the guests really go all throughout the park so yeah this was a success during the simulation so I'm really happy with this thing and we'll ta tackle it a little more in the next episode. Also because we only had two toilets so far one at the entrance of the park and one on KK's Plaza I had to do another toilet and I wanted this to also have a name and it was really tricky because I didn't want to offend anyone by uh, naming a toilet after them, you know, because, well, that's kind of weird having a toilet named after you. And so I thought really hard about it, and I thought about uh, the Jones Water Company and Scott Boogie Gaming's videos, because, well, you have uh, Steve's Waterworks uh, on the side, and then you have this water company that may do, um, I don't know, plumbing or anything. But the point is, I wanted to shout out Scott because he is also a, a really great supporter of the channel. And so, Scott, there you go, you're immortalized in this uh, in this park. And as you saw, I also placed a few animatronics, so you're in there as well. There is also there are also um, Chrissy and uh, Chrissy P and uh, Iron Maddie because they're obviously looking at water features, so I had to put them there. And I think there are uh, Michael and Jasmine from MNJ Games, but I will move them because I, w I have something special planned for you guys. And right next to the Jones Water Company, I had to put this uh, post office because let me explain to you, I don't have any ATMs in the park yet and everything has to be paid for. Uh, the, the attractions, the... Um, 
uh, the shops obviously uh, not the toilets actually but yeah the point is I had to include this thing because um, I want this part to be uh, working gameplay wise you know to be look lucrative and, and uh, earning money over time so it, it doesn't go bankrupt even though it is sandbox so technically it doesn't have to to work that way but I, I love playing with the game mechanics and um, having my um, my employees being happy and everything so yeah that's why I put an ATM there and uh, I may put another one in the future I haven't decided where yet so yeah we'll see in the future this is future me's problem and I've also put in this little door where Michael and Jasmine are sitting um, a another staff room to have people come all the way around this uh, little um, side um, viewpoint I, I would say on the water feature and on the lift hill of the lock flume but yeah this thing is really starting to come together and it, it's amazing I, I'm just really really loving simple park uh, as a whole this is such a great park so far and it's just getting better and better every episode so yeah I'm really excited as some of you guys may know this project was started because I wanted to get away from Marvelous Realms which was a huge park almost a P well actually if it were on PC it would have been something that could have been done but because we are on console and we have this uh, Oswald counter limit we cannot do uh, some things that we might want to do so yeah that's was was what was oh my god <laughs> that was what uh, was really unfortunate with uh, with marvelous realms but the point is now I'm happy with how simple park is, is turning out and simple park will be finished because at the time of recording I'm still recording the the speed build for um, episode 11 and I'm only at 38% which is not a lot uh, knowing that we have five attractions in the park oh my god I, I spoiled you no <laughs> what have I done <laughs> I'm sorry guys but yeah there's gonna be a fifth attraction what <laughs> spoilers Anyway, the point is, uh, a lot of things are coming with this park and it's been a joy from beginning to, well, not end yet, but at one point it will have to end, unfortunately. I would stay in Simple Park so, for so long if I could, because it's such a comfortable park. Comfortable? Comfort yeah, this is actually a weird word. I've never said that out loud, but yeah, this is really comfortable. Yeah, that's more like it. This is a really comfortable park, so I really like to every time go back to it and, and just take it all in and build in it and build some cozy stuffs and I love it. And you might have realized that I've put a big French flag next to this shop because this shop is called Friendly French Fries. Of course, I had to continue with the rhymes. This is so cool and we'll we are actually giving a little attention to the mine train as you might have realized right there so that it blends in with this little town but with that and the lighting comes the end of the speed build and there we go again welcome back to simple park ah i love this vibe really it's such a unique vibe and and so cozy and comfortable really. but yeah every time I'm gonna go left because I want to want you guys to see the the how the view progresses from KK's Plaza because with the splashdown and everything and with how open this uh, this place looks we can see a lot of the um, of the of the town now with uh, the Jones Water Company and the post office as well I mean look at that it's looking more and more complete every single episode and right now actually this heart of the park kind of feels complete I'm not gonna lie there there is still a little bit to be done uh, on the mine train at the back of the park but otherwise this view is kind of complete so far well almost we have still 
a really big addition to come in the near future in two episodes time so yeah stay tuned for that and we also we've also built this um, this uh, little car ride that we're going to give a little more attention over the two next episode so yeah as, again stay tuned for that <laughs> because right now it looks kind of bland but I promise it's gonna be worth your while so we have a new uh, water refiller and Sam's hat shack because yeah we had to have all of these cow cowboy oh my god cowboys hats and as you can see some of the guests are wearing them because it's right at the end of the lock flume so they are happy and they want to buy that this is something I've learned from uh, Tall Guy Gaming's tutorials actually on uh, how to play challenge mode and how the shops worked and um, basically when your guests exit the, uh, a good ride uh, they will want to buy souvenirs of well what they've experienced to be remembered about their their fame and so yeah this um, this uh, interior is quite simple we have a coat hanger and a little cupboard and also we have this little backstage area that uh, oh yeah I, did, I didn't remember but the water refiller is also connected uh, by pipe uh, so yeah this is a little detail that some of you might not have noticed during the speed build because it's so fast, let's be honest. I've tried to make it slower in the next episode you, because this was uh, the point I had um, recorded to when I started the series, so yeah. But anyway, this is friendly french fries, this is the best play on words I've made in the park yet. and. Ah uh, yes, L look at the flies as well. This is the point that I've added flies in uh, in the, the the backstage areas where the trash bags were, and this is leading to the kitchen. And also there is a staff door so that the kitchen can access the backstage area. So yeah, friendly French fries again. Everything is uh, de decorated so that it feels rustic with wood and everything. But we also have the technology to have the fries. Uh, to keep the fries hot and everything and uh, why are you going back what are you saying <laughs> oh yeah the the fact that I've covered uh, the the hats because they weren't co cowboy hats so I wanted to cover them with planks and actually that's why I also made a closed cupboard because on the other side of the cupboard there wasn't any cowboy hat blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak at the end of episodes every time. <laughs> I be I'm becoming a frog. This is what a French sounds like, guys. So yeah, I've put also the those little tables so that people can sit after they've ordered their, their meals. And with this little gulpy soda uh, stand, I've also uh, made a little custom uh, uh, stack of cups. And yeah, it's with the little box. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, this was like a month ago for me, so I totally forgot about those. But yeah, I, every time I rediscover some of the de details, I think, oh my god, I actually thought about this, and that's great. I even thought about putting some cups at the, at the back uh, uh, of the of the building for the backstage. That's great. You're fa thank you for having done that, Jan. <laughs> because present time me, I totally forgotten about those. So yeah, the Jones Water Company and... Oh yeah, we have the Outer Wilds Ventures. If you guys don't know, Outer Wilds is my favorite um, game ever made. And so I wanted to make a shout out to this game by naming the town Outer Wilds. We will see a lot more of that in the next episode. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And oh yeah, look at the mine train. This is exactly the view I was going for, and it's gonna get better in every passing episode. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. I'm always saying stay tuned for this and stay tuned for that, but so much is happening in every episode now because I've I'm finally confident. This was the point I was finally confident to do big, big, big updates with uh, with the park. So. Yeah, the, the mine train is started to get some love, but 
not just yet. We'll still have a few episodes to go to actually tackle the mine train. And yeah, look at this. We have a view on the first drop of the mine train on the beginning of the lock flume, the lift hill of the lock flume, the fake out of the mine train that you see right there, and also the the the, the drop and um, yeah, this little. Uh, let's see that. Come on, come here, come here. There we go. This is uh, the final turn for the mine train to go back at the station. So yeah. I probably will put a... Uh, and look at that! Perfectly timed so that another train goes by. And yes, as you see this employee coming into the post office, there we go. And yeah man, the post office is, again, extremely simple, like everyone could do it. But it's there and it works, you know, it works with the whole theme and everything. And same with the Jones Water Company toilets. The joins with WC. <laughs> and yes, we have Iron Maddie, as I said, and Chrissy P. And who else do we have? We have Scott Boogie Gaming right there. Because, of course, the Jones Water Company is this thing. And we have Michael and Jasmine. And yes, those are our five new VIP guests. Let's call them, let's call them like this. But yeah, this is this view is going to be probably the best view in the park, and I'm really excited to do those in the future. And yeah, also something I wanted to show you, because, you know, I always plan my views so that you see certain things um, from certain points of the park, and that's why I wanted to do the toilets really really oh my god look at that timing really really small and not really high so that you can see the lift hill of the mine train and on this we'll end the episode thank you guys for watching this has been yan your favorite friendly frenchman and i'll see you in the next one a bientôt